in my place by Cole plays in the key of A major. There's two main chord progressions to the piece. And if you have them down, then the rest of the piece falls into place. The first chord progression is used for the main riff and for the verses. It starts off with A major, which is A, C sharp, E, C sharp minor, C sharp, E, G sharp, F sharp minor, F sharp, A, C sharp, and then E major, E, G sharp, and B. Second chord progression is only used for the choruses. That's D major, D, F sharp, A. Then it goes to A major, A, C sharp, E. Goes then to C sharp minor again, C sharp, E, G sharp. And um, that repeats three times. Then the last time it holds F sharp minor, which is F sharp, A, C sharp. And then it holds E major, E, G sharp, B, right before it goes back into the main riff. Uh, those chords are supposed to sound like this with the timing. I'd do first is I'd learn those two chord progressions off by heart with the timing of the song before you move on to the right hand at all. Once you have those two chord progressions down, that's the main body of the piece and everything else fits around that. Right hand notes. Really just circulating around these three notes here, B, C sharp and E, then at the end it plays A. The notes for the verse then are similar to that, um, slightly arranged differently. So the verse goes like this. All I'm doing with the left hand the whole time as well is just arpeggios, and then I might be inverting a couple of chords. You can look at my video on how to play the left hand down below. Also there's a video on chords and different chord inversions that you can look at as well, it might help you out. For that bit you can do that, or you can play this. Up to you. Chorus then goes like this.
and with the left hand it's just repeating that second chord progression but then at the very end it holds this F sharp minor chord and then it goes to E major That's almost it, it's just this one little extra thing. There is an outro and he sings over the main riff. The notes that he sings and he's singing them, um, please come back and sing to me. In terms of the structure of it, the main riff starts off soft, up here. Then it goes into the verses that are a bit soft but a bit louder than the main riff. Then it goes into the chorus which is really quiet. Then it goes into the main riff again, which I play louder. All I'm doing is playing it louder, but then using octaves as well. Rather than just the one note, you can add the same note higher pitched up here. <clears throat> Makes it sound a bit more livelier and a bit more full. Um, then it goes into the soft first then again. goes into another another chorus that's much louder. And for those notes, again I'm doing octaves. After that chorus it goes into a, a main riff and I play this softer up here again. And then it goes into the outro which is really loud. And then at the very end, it ends with a verse, very soft down here. Then I just add an arpeggio of A major to finish off. Lastly, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, be sure to let me know. Even leave a suggestion on anything you might know about playing by yourself.